there's, you know, you just got people you love to hate. The Westboro Baptist Church is one of them for me. Them Scientologists, and I'll be honest, a lot of Catholics. Uh, but I want yes. to tell you, um, <laughs> be, that's the only religion you can say that about, by the way. Imagine if I was like, you know, and the Jews, I'd be canceled. Yeah. That would no. ruin this whole conversation we just Yeah, had. you're done um, with your career. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the West, so you, you, not only did you roast Trump, but then you were on uh, Celebrity Apprentice and you raised $130,000 for the gay men's health crisis, uh, right. which is, uh, what is that? What, what, what do they do? What do they focus on there? And then I want to talk about Westboro Baptist. Sure. It's an organization in New York City that helps people who are affected with AIDS and HIV. So it's, and I had volunteered in their um, kitchen a few times and I was like, wow, there's a warmth here for anyone's welcome and it just felt very like emotional so when on the apprentice you're allowed to pick a charity and i was like oh i'm totally you know using them for that so that's why part of me wanting to stay on the apprentice as long as i did which i made it to the final four was that i wanted to prove comics aren't stupid i wanted to prove that i could not get kicked off before a fucking real housewife or i'd shoot myself <laughs> and I wanted to get all this money for the gay men's health crisis. So yeah. what had happened was the reason I started having an affinity with them and I was already bestowed allyship on me from them was when I, over this, about two years before The Apprentice, I was doing a show in Wichita, Kansas, which is where the Westboro Baptist Church was located. Mm -hmm. They are a group of people who own the website godhatesfags.com, which by the way, best fucking website name ever i wish i, I love it. it it's it's just great it's so great do you see they have a recycling website too it's called god hates bags i don't know if no. a terrible joke no they don't oh, okay no. i was gonna say that's pretty good um so i saw that they were sending me tweets uh, this is when i used to get into twitter feuds and even read yeah. twitter, which i don't anymore um they said they were going to come protest my show so i thought it would be really deter them from protesting if I said, okay, so every one of you assholes who shows up, I'm going to give $1,000 of my own money in your name to the gay men's health crisis. So you're indirectly helping people. So I guess they figured, well, fuck her. We're going to show up in full force. So I'm thinking it's going to be 20. I got 20 grand. That's fine. Well, 48 of them show up. Ooh. And I said to myself, you know what? This is the universe going. You need to make yeah. a fucking donation. Absolutely. So, I was so angry with them that I said, okay, 48, fuck it, I'll round it up to 50. $50,000, you And in all honesty, I know comics and actors give a lot more than that, but that felt really good because you walk in there, they print up that big check, that big cardboard, I, I never forget it. And no. if I did one thing in my life other than take care of my dad, take care of my mom, that's the most important thing. But I would like to add on to that, oh, later in life, like now, I started being that way with people of color, other, other marginalized people, whether it's even in the vein of, I work at a soup kitchen every week, I um, listen and learn and then amplify black voices. Like I would love to just be like, that's my new calling. Like everyone needs a calling and I'm like, might have taken me to 58, but I want to try, try to really do that now.